Today I'm going to be going over the 29 gallon and giving you guys an update on it and some of the things that I've had some issues with and uh, show you guys a little bit of a how to. Hey guys, this is Jess Moses again. Today I'll be bringing you guys a 29 gallon update on uh, my little Nano reef tank here. The one that's supposed to be covered by GSP and it's not. Uh, but before I get into a little bit of explanation of that, if you guys are enjoying the channel, uh, please hit that subscription button. And at the end of the video, if you're enjoying it, hit that like button. Or if you guys have any suggestions for me on what I'm doing here, uh, feel free to give me that comment. So now that I've said that, let's get into a little bit of this. Uh, I've had some a lot of issues, new issues that I've never had uh, with reef tanking before. Uh, so this is a whole brand new thing for me. It was going really well, but then a lot of things happened to me. I have lost some fish. I have done some other things that I, I you know, I, I it really hurt my feelings in this. And I, I almost thought about getting rid of this tank. Um, but I'm going to go into a little bit of a how-to on uh, building a screen as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this stuff and I'll give you guys an explanation of what has happened in my tank, what I have living in the tank, and how to make a screen for your tank. Alright guys, so this is the 29 gallon as of today. Now I have added some new things and I have lost a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of that stuff. Uh, so it does look a little murky. It's not really murky. It just has a lot of sand that's being turned over, and that is actually due to my new one of my new additions. Is the Diamond Watchman Gobi, and he is fantastic. He's pretty. He's beautiful, and he is definitely a workhorse or a work fish. Uh, he does great of uh, turning the sand over and keeping the sand looking nice and white. So I really like this addition. I actually suggest having him in any tank unless you really uh, get really ticked off about, you know, having a little bit of debris in your tank. Um, I might see if I can alleviate this issue in a separate way and that might come up later. But I think he's a great addition for helping uh, keep the sub substrate really clean and uh, nice and white if you like that kind of stuff. So Now another addition I have made is this Engineer Gobi. Now he was a gift and he's been really really awesome so far i'm impressed with how active he is and how healthy he has been i expected him to die pretty quickly uh but you know we got a good deal on him and uh he's been here and he's doing just fine so he's a cool addition that i've had in this tank and i like him uh, i do have another addition which is uh my molly down here he does like to hide if you can see right in the middle of the screen you can see his, his head just poking right out of the bottom there underneath that dry rock now this guy is really neat uh, due to um, if you would come out you can see just how fat he is <laughs> um, but he literally picks at the dry rock and the and the actual substrate itself as well so he actually helps the diamond watchman goby and keeps the substrate clean and makes sure there's no algae growing so I strongly strongly suggest having a molly in your tank and if you have a bigger tank maybe having a couple more and maybe have just one uh, sex that way you don't have to worry about the multiplying in your tank so I do highly recommend them for a reef tank uh, another thing is you might notice I only have uh, one clownfish and uh, we'll get into that too here just in a second now I moved my GSP simply because it wasn't touching the rock uh, if it's not touching the rock it's not gonna grow on the rock you know so I kind of moved it over in a better spot or it kind of looks like it's doing a lot better and it's actually touching that rock and I think it's gonna be able to spread pretty easily now so that's a that's a huge plus uh, I still have a sea urchin he's doing well uh, the shrimp is still doing just lovely as ever let's see what else do we have here I think that's pretty much it on the livestock guys now I wanted to get into something that I have been meaning to do for a while and that is to make a screen lid and uh, yeah so the reason I got uh, I made this now is because I actually lost two fish uh, due to jumping and I haven't had any fish jump at all since I have been keeping fish uh, this is my first experience of the one jumping and I knew better because I bought the screen and I wanted to do it I was just too lazy and I paid the price for it so if you guys 
have the opportunity to make a screen, I strongly suggest it. And uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a video on how I did it. Uh, this is the first time I have made a screen and it came out rather nice. I'm really happy with it. So uh, enjoy. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on this. Instead of using a black paint, I went ahead and went with the Plasti Dip just because I thought it was safer for the fish tank and would last longer. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for me uh, on this video. I just wanted you guys to know the importance of doing uh, things just to keep your fish safe. 
uh, and give you guys a little bit of an update on uh, where I am with my 29 gallon and uh, how it's doing. I know I haven't really shared a lot on it lately, so uh, here it is. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you're liking the videos, uh, if you enjoyed the last videos that you've seen in this video, hit that subscription button so you can see the upcoming ones. Give that like button if you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below if you guys have anything that you know you guys want to discuss or have questions about or you know like always teach me something. It's always appreciated. So thanks guys for checking me out. I'm Just Moses. Take care. Alright guys, so I'm Just Moses. Feel free to click on my stupid face, give me that subscribe. And if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, feel free to check out my Instagram. So I'm always posting on there. And if you want to see any other videos, if this is your first video you've seen of mine, feel free to click on any of these two that you see on the end screen. So take care guys, and refall.